All right now I want to talk for a second about social media. Lots of us belong to private Facebook groups and we belong to online forums and different places where social media is shared. And many of us are using those social media platforms to build our business. So if, for example, you are using the social media platform and your brand online is inconsistent with the brand that you've created with your customers, there's a huge discrepancy. And I don't mean to be a stickler about this, but I'm very keenly aware that anything you say online, please stop if you're doing anything else and you're not paying attention. Please stop and give me your undivided attention right now because if you only remember one thing from what I'm sharing with you today, this is it. Okay? I need you to pay attention to this one idea. Anything that you share online, and I do mean anything, can be screenshotted and it can be posted on a Yelp review, on a Google review, on a private Facebook page, on a public Facebook page, in another Facebook group, or wherever your clients and customers hang out. So anything that you say, even if, even if, pay very close attention to this, even if you're cussing out one person that has offended you in a private Facebook group. Here's the reason I know this to be true. I run five Facebook groups and they belong to different areas of my business. I get on a daily basis 20 to 30 screenshots that have nothing to do with anything that happened in our group. Did you know that this professional just said this and they sent me a screenshot? And I look at it and I say, that's really interesting. I recommended that girl a week ago to a client of mine, but I never would have recommended her if I knew she was capable of that. And I take her off my list of recommendations. I don't confront her because it's not my business. It was not my conversation. It had nothing to do with me, but without her ever knowing it, she just went from, I really like this person and I've recommended her because I believe in her and I want her business to succeed to going into this file of, oh my goodness, that's really lewd. And I don't, I don't want to promote that because that doesn't represent me. That's not a good representation of me. And so I will quietly pull her off my recommendation list, going into just a bin of friends, never to be recommended again. And I get a huge opportunity to recommend lots of people in the cleaning industry because that's the space I'm in and I have a voice. So I get to share lots of, oh, you should call so-and-so. They're really good. Their customers love them. I read all the little testimonials and things on the Facebook groups. I know that their customers are huge fans. Have never worked with them personally, but you may want to give them a call, right? This happens all day, every day. And then there are people that I quietly pull off the list and I just kind of shake my head like, oh man, I wish that wasn't the case. I really like this person and they deserve the business and I know that they need the business, but I won't ever recommend them again. Okay, so there are things like that that happen that you have no idea are happening, okay? So when you are on social media, please don't post when you're drunk. If you're having PMS and you're having a really moody day, which we all have, right? Please don't post. Put yourself in a timeout and say, this is not good for my personal or my business brand because the things that you say, and I promise you this, the things that you say and post will be shared. They will be. I promise you that.